What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and today I've got an interesting video for you that is basically how to fix missing characters of fonts for most likely Adobe software. I've had this issue a ton with Premiere Pro and it's quite easily fixable. I'll give you an example right now before I go into explaining it any further. So I have here a piece of text that's just spelled wasn't. Obviously I'm missing an apostrophe and if I hit the apostrophe key on my keyboard, boom, you can obviously see that is definitely not an apostrophe. If I hit something like the grave button, you can see that looks a bit more like an apostrophe. So this font is missing the apostrophe glyph. And basically, this is the missing character. They've got their own custom one, which is their logo. Usually, however, this would just be a square. So obviously there is meant to be an inverted comma here. And in fact, the issue comes from the way that Premiere Pro uses those smart or fancy inverted commas where they're curved to the left and curved to the right to indicate an open and a close instead of just a single quotation mark. So that would be a left and that would be a right. The same with double quotes. So this is very easily fixable. First of all, you'll need to get the font file itself onto your desktop or another similar folder. I purchased the license to the Cute Zealand font off of Checkered Inc's website, so it was very easy for me to get a download to the font. They in fact just link out to another font website, and I'll just download it from here. Now that I have the font downloaded, I'll extract it to my desktop, and this is how you would usually install it, by clicking the install button. If you don't know where to download the font, you can simply grab it out of your windows by pressing start and typing in fonts. Open up the first link that just says fonts, and you can simply right click copy and paste out of this folder as you would any other folder. So I'm not gonna install this, not gonna do anything with it. So the next thing we need is a font editing software and I'll be using something called FontLab. Now this isn't free, but it does have a free trial and I only need to fix one font. So I'll just download the free trial for this. Download for Windows 64 bit and I'll open it as soon as it's done downloading. Go ahead and open up the installer, accept, next, next, I've already got it installed, so I'll hit yes there, next, and install Python 2.7, next, install. Next, I'll just have launch checked and hit finish. So I don't have a license, I'll just click continue trial. Now that we have the piece of software open, hit open font file, or open installed font, and I'll open the one that I downloaded. Now that I have it downloaded, you can see up here, dot not def, meaning not defined, is in fact the logo, and this is what we were seeing before. But that's not what we're going to pay attention to. Instead, have a look over here. We have the quoted DBL, meaning double quotation marks, and quote single. So what to do next is open up the one you want to copy. So I'll open up quote single, simply select all of the dots on the screen and hit control C. Head back to the list over here, Q Zealand or whatever your font is called. In the top left, you'll hit font, followed by add glyphs. So here's where things get quite confusing, and I'm not exactly sure how to search through this, but what I'm looking for is the open and close quotation mark, which you can find down here under initial punctuation and final punctuation. So you can see here we have, if we click on it, a left double quotation mark and the left single quotation mark. So I'll hit control and select both of these. Hit apply to add them to your list. And you can see that they're down here. We'll go to final punctuation and do the same here. The double quotation mark and the right single quotation mark. Hit apply, and there we have it. Hit OK, and we'll open up the quote left first. Control V to paste, and then tab back. Quotation right, and then we'll go ahead and copy the double quotation mark into quoted left and quoted right, because I don't really care about opening and closing. We'll hit file, export font as, and then select one of these. I'll leave it as TTF. Next, choose a folder. I'll create a new one called out just to separate them and I'll hit export. Once it's saved, you can simply click the link to open up the folder. Now that we have it here, let's double click and hit the install button in the top left. Coming back to Premiere Pro, you can see nothing's changed, so we need to close out of it first. And now that we've just simply opened it up, you can see if I click on it and double click here, it is still cute Zealand, except now the inverted commas is in fact working. So are the double quotation marks. So that's it. I've now fixed it. I'm now able to use the quotation mark instead of reaching over and hitting the grave key every time I want to insert a inverted comma using this font, which I actually quite like and I've paid for a license for. So I'm quite sure I'm well within my right to edit it, especially when I'm not sharing this modified file to anyone else. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. My name's been Technobo, here for Troubleshoots, and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.